We're Vancouver Point Grey. Now we know the government doesn't take this issue seriously. The, the minister responsible for housing, here's a quote for the Minister of Finance. The minister responsible for housing, quote, housing in Metro Vancouver is, quote, actually pretty affordable, the least affordable city in the world, according to an international study. Wow. Wow. That's how out of touch they are. So when a local businessman, Honourable Speaker, encountered a realtor engaging in house flipping in Vancouver, and he threatened to report her for tax evasion, he's alleging that she threatened his life. Honourable Speaker, people in Vancouver have a lot of questions about students and homemakers buying million-dollar homes. They've got questions about income levels, having no connection to property being purchased. They have questions about connections to money laundering, income tax evasion. This is right in the Minister of Finance's wheelhouse. So to him, what additional resources is he putting in place to audit real estate transactions in Metro Vancouver for tax fraud and for money laundering? Minister Finance. Uh, thanks, uh, Honourable Speaker. The, uh, the member knows or should know that uh, within the, uh, the taxation branch uh, there is a, a very well-qualified group uh, of auditors when it comes to the uh, property transfer tax, which is the uh, tax uh, rendered in every instance where there is a, uh, a registration of title. Uh, the branch is uh, very aggressive at ensuring that those who claim exemptions for that tax are entitled to do so, uh, that the information provided on those returns uh, is accurate, and that same uh, diligence, uh, amplified diligence, will be applied with respect uh, to the new measures that we have introduced uh, to ensure that more British Columbians uh, can enter the housing market and fulfill that dream of, uh, of owning a home, uh, Madam Speaker. So, uh, look, uh, I've said it before and I'll, I'll say it again. I know there's an element of this that uh, makes the opposition uh, very, very uncomfortable, and it's the idea that more and more British Colum more and more people uh, want to come to British Columbia, want to live here. That is powering the strongest economy uh, in the country. It is creating pressure, admittedly, uh, in some areas of the province around things like housing. But, Madam Speaker, we can address that. We can meet that if governments at all levels will work together and understand that the solution to this is ensuring that there are even more housing options available to the thousands of people that want to come to British Columbia. Recognizing Vancouver Point Grey on a supplemental. Yeah, Honourable Speaker, it's no surprise the Finance Minister has no specifics on additional resources because there are no additional resources. In fact, there are clearly inadequate resources to investigate and prosecute tax fraud and money laundering in British Columbia real estate. That's the only way to explain the difference between what's happening here and what's happening in Alberta, where the regulator actually chased somebody engaged in real estate fraud across the border into British Columbia. He's facing two years in jail under that uh, regulator's actions. Meanwhile, in our province, the owner of the largest real estate firm in Vancouver does a seminar on how to create fake bonuses and rip off clients. Still no prosecution. More than half of BC realtors failing anti-money laundering audits, the failings of BC's Real Estate Council still under investigation, no resolution, and even when this businessman called the cops when he said that a real estate agent threatened his life, nobody showed up for 24 hours. Honourable Speaker to the Minister of Finance for his part in this, what additional resources will he put on the table to deal with this problem? Minister Finance. <laughs> Uh, Madam Speaker, last week, uh, I think it was the, uh, the Honourable Member who uh, quoted from a report where the, uh, the author advocated that we should uh, pursue uh, policies that, uh, uh, and we should try to emulate what is happening in that great economic juggernaut of a province, Prince Edward Island, uh, Madam Speaker, because that's what the author of that report uh, aspired uh, to for BC. Today, Today, the uh, today the yeah I, the members saying what yeah I was a bit surprised too that uh, members would be advocating we emulate uh, Prince Edward Island in response to what's happening. Today, today the uh, today the um members. Today, if I heard correctly, the, uh, the member wants us to emulate uh, market uh, circumstances in uh, Alberta. I'm not suggesting that's a recipe for success right now, uh, Madam Speaker. What I do believe, what I...
what I do believe and what I believe the majority of British Columbians uh, want is to ensure that there are options available for them uh, at reasonable levels to enter the housing market, that when people make investments, they are paying their fair share, that they are meeting their taxation obligations, whether they are British Columbians or Canadians or people from elsewhere in the world who choose to come here, that they are meeting their taxation obligations. We will continue to share information with the Canada, Reg Re Canada Revenue Agency. We will take uh, additional steps to ensure that collectively governments in Canada are collecting from investors, no matter who they are or where they come from, the taxes that they owe to Canada and to British Columbia.